Hello cunts. As you can see, I've sort of fucking broken myself a little bit. So, I won't be able to record normal videos for a while. Uh, just my finger. Fell down the stairs on Saturday night, getting a bit rowdy. Got... <laughs> In the meantime, I'm giving you guys this beautiful pro year 11 media project I made last year to enjoy. I hope to be back making videos soon, but you know, I don't really know how long it takes for a broken finger to heal. So it could be a while. Anyway, I'll see you cunts soon. What up? Here you go, mate. Thanks right. for that. There's your receipt. Cheers. One of the most controversial habits in today's world, known to cause many health problems that can lead to an early death, you might find it hard to imagine why 14% of Australians aged 15 and over smoke. But I don't. It's just so f***ing good. Now that might not be enough to convince you, so now I'll go over some of the positive effects of smoking. When you first start smoking, you'll start to experience short-term effects such as yellowing fingers, which is obviously a positive if you're a Simpsons fan. But if not, that's all good. There's plenty of other good effects to look forward to, like bad breath to keep away the evil non-smokers. Another benefit is yellow teeth, because who doesn't like a bit of colour in their life? Also, you experience loss of athletic ability, so you have a good excuse to be lazy. And that's just to name a few. But it doesn't stop there. The really good effects start when you've been smoking for a really long time. That's when you start to get the really, really good conditions like heart disease, lung cancer, reproductive problems, and saving the best till last, death. Now, if you get a life-threatening condition from smoking, you'll have to pay lots of money for surgery for a slight chance of surviving. Oh, my lung keeps drifting off my body and I have to push it back into position. I don't think that's good, Doc. That's probably not a very good sign. My lung's falling out of my body. That's not a good sign. Are you going to save my life, Doc? Am I going to see Mommy again? No. Oh, f***. Piece of shit. You complaining about my choice in ciggies, Doc? Yeah. You oh. drugger. What the f***? You actually get f***ing ciggy on my lungs? You're in a f***ing hospital bed, they're covered in tar. It doesn't matter what I do to them now. Oh, f***ing f***ing true, eh? Do you want a drag? Yeah, give me a drag, eh? Why not? Why not? I'm already f***ing dying. Waste my ciggy. To prove that the life of a long-term smoker is absolutely fantastic, I'm going to be interviewing Zach. He's on his deathbed with emphysema, a group of lung diseases that blocks airflow and makes it difficult to breathe. Have you got a diary, mate? Yeah, bro. Wow, thanks, mate. Here you go. I'll do with one. Dying anyway, there's no point around there. So Zach, how long have you been smoking for? Straight since the wound, mate. All the other babies were sucking their mummy's teeth. 
and my mother said, F you, F you were meant to be aborted, so suck on this cigarette. So I've been doing it ever since, I suppose. So in a way, I'm finally getting aborted. Wow, that truly is an inspiring story, Zach. Do you have anything to say to the youth of today who are considering smoking? Well, it really depends, mate. Uh, yeah, if you want to die by the age of 30 but from a horrible f***ing disease like this, by all means. If you want to live a healthy life, uh, well, maybe not. Well, I know which one I'm choosing. <laughs> Great choice, mate. <coughs> Great choice. Despite all the evidence that smoking is a positive healthy habit, smoking rates have dropped by nearly 10% in the past two decades. So please, I'm begging you, tell all your friends and family to pass on the message that smoking is good. And if you're a non-smoker, call join line on 134878 for free over the phone support to start smoking.